welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. I am so excited to be bringing you guys around six different apartment properties in Nashville. I hope this video is going to be helpful. I actually really think it will be because I tried to show in many different areas of Nashville. We didn't go over to east. We stayed more in the middle heart of Nashville and a little bit west and I tried to show you some different price ranges as well. I had the help of my friend Keisha. She is an apartment locator which I used an apartment locator when I was searching for this apartment and it was the best decision ever. They're a free service. They get paid through the apartment building that you end up signing with and they know the area. They are able to get you your wants and your needs. You tell them your price range and they give you a list of options. You don't have to spend hours and hours on the couch sifting through apartment listings. So I will have her information below if you are looking in the Nashville area and you want some help, whether you live here already or you're coming from out of state, she will be able to help you. She's also gonna be able to give you guys a deal on your application fee if you work with her. Reach out to her for more details, but having a discount on that application fee can be a huge bonus. So if you're thinking of moving to Nashville, a few things to know. It's a growing city. There's apartment buildings going up, I swear, every day there's a new one opening. I've lived here for going on five years. I've lived in two different apartments here, and I absolutely love Nashville. It's creative. It's exciting but it's also homey and cozy i never feel overwhelmed and after you live here for about a year like you know where everything's at you're able to get around easily it's not an overwhelming city but keisha was telling me about this triangle apartment triangle combination so i'm going to put it on the screen it's basically where you can choose two out of those three options so just keep this in mind too you can choose between the location and price the price and finishes or the finishes and the location so know that Yes, there's a ton of apartment options out there, but depending on your budget, depending on the location, what you're looking for, your wants and your needs, it's going to be hard to find something that has everything. So keep that in mind, but I'm really excited to show you guys these apartments today. So let's go ahead and get touring with the first stop. All right, we are here at our first location. Hi. I'll let you introduce yourself and okay. all that you do. Hi, I'm Keisha Petway. I work with a locating company called Aptamigo. Um, one of our markets is here in Nashville. So today we're going to be bringing Hannah around, showing her some potential new apartment. And I'm so excited. We're going to look at some studios, some one bedrooms, going yes. to different areas. We're going to give you guys all the details, but we are here at our first location, which is in Germantown, which she's saying is like the hot place to move right now. Um, obviously there's a lot of great neighborhoods in Nashville. Germantown, I think is super quaint. It's yeah. like cute, very family oriented. You can walk around. It's very safe. So yeah, let's get started with the tours. Here we are in the only Germantown apartment home that we looked at. They had some great amenities. It was a little bit of an older building, kind of darker overall. Keep in mind, this was filmed on a cloudy day, but this is their gym. I feel like it was super big and spacious. It overlooks the pool, which is a nice feature as well. This was their common room area. It kind of was like a bar pub style, lots of kitchen space. I also liked these garage doors that opened up to the fire pit area. And here we go into the only layout I saw, which is their one bedroom. It does have the darker features, the darker cabinets and doors and hardwood flooring. But um, if that's kind of your vibe, this is gonna be great for you. I feel like the reason the price is higher, even though it feels like an older building, is because of the location. Not only are you in Germantown, but you're right at the corner in the heart of where all the shops and restaurants are, and you can walk to pretty much everything you need to in Germantown. I also like how it comes with a balcony which is super great. There's the L-shaped counter, so you can have bar stools. And then the bedroom is carpeted. There's tons of window space, natural lighting in here. And the bathroom had a ton of storage as well. The stand-up shower is super nice. And there is a huge closet. I also liked the built-in shelving in this closet. Okay, so now we are in, sorry, what is this? Sobro? Sobro. Yes. Yeah. I <laughs> always forget. Sobro, which is like South Broadway. Is that what it stands for? Yeah. But it, yeah. Wow, I never thought about that. I think it is. And that then is there's, so smart. is it there <laughs> No Bro is coming? Is like an, another area, I think. Probably. North Broadway. So anyway, we're really close to downtown. If you want somewhere where you can walk 
to Broadway, walk to downtown area, look in Sobro. It's definitely more of an up and coming area. You're, clo you're so close to so much. And I was talking to the leasing agent here and she said that she feels safe walking her animals and whatnot. And this apartment is absolutely stunning. So get ready for some beautiful views. Literally some of the apartments have a direct view of the skyline. Yeah. Yeah. And we're about to go to the Gulch. It's an eight minute walk to get to the next one in the Gulch. So oh, you're perfect. so close. You're close to the Gulch. You're in between the Gulch and downtown. Like I said, we're going a little bit more downtown for this location. You can seriously be a 10 minute walk to Broadway and like a three minute Uber ride. So you are gonna be super close. But this is the prettiest apartment I saw all day. It's also the most expensive. This is the lobby. I loved how there's a concierge service. This is the like clubhouse community area, co-working area. And then they had amazing, amazing views from the pool. And this was also just another club room area. You can see the Batman building, the Music City Center, it's all right there. I saw three different layouts at this apartment building. This is their studio, which I feel like is perfect if you're just wanting that one big room, you can fit your bed and your couch in here. I love the concrete wall. I think that modern accent is super cool. This unit also has this patio, which adds a lot of space. Honestly, you could put your dining table and stuff out there. The only thing I had against the patio was it backed up to the pool, which in the summer months will be very loud. But if you are here for a good time and you want that extra space, I think the patio is super awesome. Bathroom is stunning. Look at this huge shower. An actually really big closet with washer and dryer in the closet. This is beautiful, especially because it's a studio. You will need that extra storage space that you can utilize in the closet. Not a ton of cabinet space in the bathroom, but you could put some cabinetry over the toilet, something like that. All right, this is my favorite apartment I toured all day. Absolutely stunning. Look at this living room with the concrete pillar column that transitions over into the bedroom. You have a direct view of the Batman building. It's the best view I've seen in an apartment in Nashville. It's super cute. Um, definitely a manageable amount of space. Space. It feels like a city apartment. Again, I wish there was a little bit more storage in the bathroom, like a linen closet or something, but you have that beautiful shower and the same size closet or maybe even a little bit bigger. Beautiful tile and then the bedroom is carpeted. Again, stunning, stunning floor to ceiling windows. The concrete accents add a really cool modern look if that's what you're looking for in Nashville. It's just very expensive. This building, even though it's stunning, I wish it had islands. I feel like if you're paying this much, especially in this bedroom, you have room for an island. I don't know why they didn't put one, but again, floor to ceiling window in the bedroom, the bathroom and closet is about the same as the previous options. This building is super expensive and honestly, the location's good. It's not a fantastic location. I think you're paying for the views, being walking distance to downtown and obviously the beautiful apartment space, the kitchens. Um, are stunning and I love the black cabinets. I feel like that's a very modern sleek look that I haven't seen before in a lot of other buildings in Nashville. It's also real hardwood floors, which is nice. Yeah. All right, so next on the list is the Gulch, um, which is a great place to live. It's more of an established, nicer area for sure. But this one we're going to, it's, this is the older building, right? Older. Okay. It, 2018. 2018 is considered older, older in yeah. the Gulch, <laughs> in Nashville just in general, because all these buildings are brand new. Yeah. But um, yeah, this one is a little bit older, so it's a little bit more affordable for living in the Gulch, which is nice. I'm really excited to see it. And yeah, these are beautiful. <laughs> This is probably the best location out of all the ones we saw today, in my opinion, and it's more affordable. I didn't get a ton of videos of the amenities because people were using the gym and I don't really want to film them and stuff, but they do have this nice clubhouse space and gym, all of that. This is their studio. Look at this wall of windows. Absolutely stunning. If you want some natural lighting, this is for you. Again, the studios where it's just one big room aren't really my style. I like to have a little bit of separation, but if you don't care, it's all good. Then we have the bathroom with the tub and shower together. Um, again, not a ton of storage space. There's this linen closet. Actually, no, this is your clothing closet as well. <laughs> Definitely not a ton of storage at all in this one, but it's stunning and it's a great price for the location. Here's a look at the kitchen and with the fridge. I kind of like how it's separate. 
this is their one bedroom. I feel like this was actually a really great layout and they have this same layout in a few different sizes for not that much different in price. You have a closet when you enter. Some of them come with wine coolers, which is a nice touch. I like the L-shaped counter here. So you have a place to eat that's super easy, very nice living room space. And I love, love, love the balcony option. Um, again, I miss having a balcony. It does overlook a highway, but you also can get some downtown views from the corner. The bedroom is carpeted and you have some pretty good natural light in here as well. I wish the window was a little bit bigger in here and that was my only complaint for the bedroom. But then the bathroom has the dark knit, darker cabinetry, one sink, lots of storage in the bathroom, which is super nice. And then standing shower or tub you can get depending on which unit you move into. And then this closet, Oh my gosh, huge, magnificent closet, full washer dryer unit in the closet, which is a great perk. So the next spot we're going is in Midtown, which is a very hopping young place. Um, you're right next to all the Midtown bars, which if you don't live in Nashville, you may not know that we have more like going out places other than just Broadway, but Midtown mm -hmm. is a really popular one, especially for I feel like college to 20s age people. So it's a very young area. Um, I actually have a friend who lives at this apartment and she really loves it. So we're going to go tour here in Midtown. There's a bunch of places in Midtown though. You could easily walk to the bars, walk to the restaurants, all of that kind of stuff. I've noticed these midtown apartments have a ton of amenity options there this was another one with great views of downtown there were multiple clubhouse working areas rooftop ish pool and that was beautiful and a stage up by the pool this is the lobby here and then there was even like water features another courtyard that has great views and if you're a musician they have like a little recording studio soundproof room so i feel like this one definitely won on the amount of amenities I actually really loved these units more than I thought. They have the same vibe as that second apartment, but for a little less money and maybe even a better location depending on your wants and needs. This is the convertible, meaning that there is this divider, which is the bedroom area, and then you have the separate living room area, um, and then this is your closet space. So no walk-in closet, but it is a nice amount of space. Then you have your bathroom, tub and shower option, a smaller bathroom, but it still is great and I really thought the kitchen and the living area with the concrete accents and you have this super spacious entryway. This is their one bedroom. Um, again, I really like, I'm liking this layout with like the L-shaped counter. You have access to your bathroom that's not just through the bedroom. Floor to ceiling windows, which is super nice and a huge balcony here, which again, just makes your, which makes your apartment feel so much more spacious. I was just looking to see where the washer dryer is. I know I may have not mentioned this, but pretty much every apartment you look at in Nashville, especially in these price ranges, is gonna come with a washer and dryer unit. And also you have like a pantry, which is super nice. That door also leads to the bathroom. I was also looking at just all the doors. You have a coat closet here as well. So this one bedroom um, and this apartment in general, I feel like has more storage than the previous one. The darker cabinets, again, not my absolute favorite, but they're super modern and nice. Again, I love the concrete accent in the bedroom. The floor, that's a huge window, floor to ceiling window in the bedroom. It's stunning. And then here is kind of your walkthrough bathroom into the walk-in closet. Overall, I know this one's expensive, but if you want to be near the bars in Midtown and you want a spacious one bedroom with lots of storage like and floor to ceiling windows, this is a great option. Grabbing a lunch break, we're so hungry. Honestly, apartment touring is <laughs> exhausting. I don't know how she does it every day, every week. <laughs> but we're at Velvet Taco, um, introducing Keisha to it. It is so good. We got like chicken tacos. This is like a tiki chicken one with rice. It's like Thai and then brisket. So, so good. All right, so after lunch, we're now heading to a new area. These next two, last two, are not the high-rise style that are closer to downtown. They're a little bit more in like 
these not residential areas but it's like just not you're right in downtown it's a little bit more like I have a lot of friends who work at the hospitals or who don't want to be right in the center of it all they love living over here this is West End Sullivan Park area we're right next to one of my favorite little hidden hidden gems I feel like some people actually don't know about it LNL marketplace which has like restaurants I worked out there at cycle bar this past week um, lots of cute stores it's like a fun area and yeah I would say it's like do you feel like it's up and coming I feel like it's kind of I, being yeah I definitely think so. okay up and coming as well um, but I feel like there's so many nice new buildings being built over here and like I said it's close to the highways so it's easy to get out to go drive around but also you can get to the Gulch and downtown area without taking the highways too it's like a 13 minute drive from over here to the Gulch but yeah I'm excited to see these next two I have no idea I really what they look like I've never toured that <laughs> over here in this area before so I'm really excited too this is the most affordable apartment we looked at today, just based on kind of the look appeal. It's definitely an older build. They still had some great amenities. All of these have pools and workout facilities and everything like that. Here is the one bedroom. You'll also find that this apartment has the most square footage and it's cheaper, but you just have the older, the older style, the older look. So um, really a huge, huge bedroom that goes into your bathroom and look at this huge closet as well. This just like reminds me of like a condo like it's so much space you have to, like two closets and then we go into the bathroom tub and shower uh, granite countertops and then that countertop was huge here is a convertible again for a great amount of square footage for the price you have that little area with the bedroom um, and closet you have this galleyway kitchen and then the living area Keisha did tell me that you could have different coloring though. I don't know if that's like floor, paint, cabinets, and there's no rhyme or reason to which units have the correct coloring. So if you are looking here, make sure you tour your actual unit if possible before you move in so you know what colors you're gonna have in the apartment. So the last one that we're touring today is one I'm really excited to see. It is in the West End area, kind of near Centennial, and it's brand new still, like has multiple floors under construction, so, yeah, just keep that in mind, but I think they're gonna be done by this spring, early summer. Um, but yeah, they have a really cute color options. There's even some mint green cabinets, so it'll be cool to see. I think this six apartment, if I decided to move, would be a top contender for me. I loved the amenities. This sky room clubhouse area was great. We couldn't even see the pool yet because it's actually not finished being built. They only have like three floors of this building built and the pool will be done by around April, they said. Um, but I feel like for the quality of the apartments, the space and the location, it's the best price you can get. Here's their one bedroom, a great amount of space for one person. They come with these wine coolers, they also have gas stove tops, which the only other place that has gas stove tops was the one in the Gulch. You see the walls being painted. That's just for show for the staging. They'll all come the same color, but you can paint them if you desire to do it yourself. Look how cute the mint cabinets are in this. It's in the bathroom and in the kitchen. When you hear mint cabinets, you're like, I don't really know if that's for me, but it is so cute. I am obsessed. A great closet space, washer dryer, a ton of bathroom space. Like you have two sinks in this unit. Um, and I love again that you have the bar space. I think this kitchen is adorable. Now we have the convertible, which is a fantastic price. All of them also have these four hook cubbies. I love having a cubby in my current apartment. A little bit of a smaller bathroom here, but then you go in, you have the convertible bedroom. Honestly, the only thing downside to me with this unit is the closet space. It's not a walk-in closet. If this one had a walk-in closet, I would consider moving here right away because this price for the finishes of this apartment and how nice it is, is fantastic. We also have the full-size washer and dryer in here, the galley kitchen with, again, the gas stove tops, which is phenomenal, lots of cabinet space, and then a nice little dining area. I also wish this one came with a balcony, but this third layout I'm gonna show you is the most space, still a great price, and it has balcony. 
And we have an island, which we haven't seen a ton in today's tours, and that's definitely something I miss um, having in my apartment is an island since I cook so much. You have a huge living room area, beautiful kitchen. Again, you can get in either color scheme, this wood color scheme or the mint green cabinet color scheme. This one, it comes with a balcony, which I was trying to kind of see, you can't really see. Um, and then a huge bedroom area. Again, huge bathroom, so much storage into the, I think this was a shower and tub in this unit. And then again, um, kind of an interesting closet layout, but still offers a ton of space. And I love having the washer dryer in the closet. Okay, and there we go. Honestly, one of my favorites. I think this apartment is so cute. And again, I can't get over the price, it's so good. That is gonna be it for our Nashville apartment touring. Thank you so much to Keisha for showing yes, me around. Of course. She's been great. I'm gonna have all of her information in the description box. It doesn't cost you anything. It doesn't cost you anything. I did want to bring this up because I feel like I'll get questions. I got questions on my Instagram when I posted that I was looking at new apartments. I love the apartment I am at right now. I wouldn't change anything besides the price it is a really expensive apartment and i have a feeling i kind of know that the rent is going to be going up so i just wanted to be prepared and kind of look at what else i could get for less or if i could get more space for more i technically am in a studio apartment now and at some of these places i could be in a one bedroom with an island and a balcony for the same price that i'm paying here at this apartment so i was just trying to weigh all my options and keisha you know took me around to show me these different buildings different price ranges for you all and for me so I don't know 100% yet if I'm moving, I'll know more later in the spring, um, but I just wanted to be informed. I wanted to see kind of what the going prices were in the area, see if it would be beneficial for me to move because rent is a huge expense, obviously. It's very expensive and you wanna be smart about your decisions. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.